Hi, it's Alexa, and as you may know, for the last, gosh, two, three months, I've been training for a triathlon with Team in Training, as you can see by the sign on my wetsuit. Now, one of the things that uh, I've been doing is getting up at crazy hours and doing things like swimming in cold lakes. As you can see, today I'm wearing my wetsuit that I got by joining Team in Training and got up really early <laughs> and started swimming. Uh, swimming for about 40 minutes here in the lake. So um, I just wanted to say, I'll give you some tips about taking off the wetsuit, but before I do that, I wanted to just say, this is your last chance to donate. Team and Training is with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and it's a wonderful charity that helps people who have blood cancers survive <laughs> and help them have a better chance at, uh, at receiving a cure for blood cancer. So with that, all it takes is you can go to my team and training page or my website, alexawebermorales.com, and donate money, and it's a wonderful cause. I really, really recommend that you do it. So with that, let me show you a few tips for taking off your wetsuit. Well, when you come out of a freezing cold lake, what you want to do in a race, obviously, you want to get your wetsuit off as quickly as possible because you want to get to your bike and be able to go bike 26 miles. So what you do is you come out of the water, you kick really hard as you're coming into, this, into the shore. You swim as far as you can swim, because it's faster to swim than to walk. And then once you get close and you're getting ready to stand up, you get down, you get, oh, you get a big gulp of water down your suit, then you reach back, you grab your, you grab your zipper, and you pull. And then as you're running out of the water, you pull this suit off as fast as you can. That's it, bye.